uh, just didn't get out, get, didn't get out the way out of, uh, in time. Uh, mm, uh, just wrong place, wrong time, I guess. Uh, but other than that, I'll be fine. See them on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, I left a couple points on the board, free throw, uh, hundred percent season down the drain. <laughs> but uh, you know. I'm happy we got the win for the most part. Um, Kyle it out. So, so just next man up mentality. Everybody came out there with a chip on their shoulder today and um, just made sure they didn't get too comfortable. And uh, we played with poise, played with passion, played defense, um, grab rebounds and run and have fun. Yeah, I think. Um, I think last year, you know, the way it ended, I think that plays a big part uh, in, um, in uh, how we're viewing things this year. Uh, after a loss, trying to do the best we can, not to lose two in a row, not let it trickle down, um, have an effect on us the next game, come out, um, attack, be aggressive. And uh, I think that's what we're trying to do right now. It's amazing. Uh, um, I, I had the most success playing this way uh, in Atlanta, I would say, uh, with uh, me and Dennis Schroeder in the backcourt. We used to run and gun, uh, and I used to get a lot of easy buckets, get lobs uh, um, back when I was playing with them. So um, this benefits me a lot, especially when you have a we have two prolific guards, and Kai and Luca. A lot of attention is going to be on them. So you just got, like I said, uh, since I've been here, you got to do whatever you can to just make their jobs a lot easier, and that's knock down shots. Uh, I had a lot of fun when we went to the Western Conference Finals, <laughs> even though I wasn't playing. It was fun, <laughs> but uh, you know, uh, that's what we're working towards. It's winning basketball, but uh, I think for the most part, I think what we did today was winning basketball. You get punched in the mouth the day before, and then you come back, and um, uh, you see what your true colors are, um, especially uh, on a back-to-back, getting in late at night and um, not making that an excuse, uh, coming out here competing, moving and running like how we're doing, putting up shit, 130 points on the second end of a back-to-back, -back, that's very impressive. So um, it just shows how relentless um, in shape we are and um, yeah, how we come back. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Someone's phone came on. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, man. Like I said, uh, it's a next man up mentality. Um, Coach Kidd's been preaching that for the longest. Uh, you never know who's going to play. You never know who's going to get the opportunity. Um, S. Dot hasn't played really that much all season. He comes in in the fourth, knocks down some shots, and um, he got got it going and kept the lead up for us. I mean. That's just a credit to him being a, a true vet. Um, so just being able to uh, stay in shape, stay locked in in the gym, uh, wait till your number's called, and you never know. Might be times where why not have Luca or Kai next man up. So we just got to be ready. You be trying to get all my secrets, man. <laughs> nah, just uh, it's just moving without the ball, man. Moving without the ball, being a factor on that end of the floor, trying to get rebounds, push out on the break, trying to get easy buckets. I mean, um, taking what the defense gives you. I mean, sometimes it's not going to be your night. Sometimes I'm not going to get up 20 shots, you know? No, it's going to be sometimes where I get up 10, sometimes I get up eight. So. Just uh, being aggressive, but also 
still learning how to be smart and let the game come to me and um, with the minutes I have. Yeah, man, I think just being able to have a healthy off season uh, really benefited myself and some of the guys on the team. Uh, helped us get in tremendous shape, help us uh, um, look ourselves in the mirror and see who we truly are and set goals individually and for the team collectively. And I think we're just trying to do the best we can to not have what happened to us last season. Um, everybody's on the same page right now and moving forward, and um, it's a beautiful thing when you know your teammate, the guy next to you, your brother next to you, um, know what their goals are, but also knows what they want the team's goal to be. So um, it makes everybody's job a lot easier. Um, I'm talking about the, the players inside the locker room, not the outsiders. So uh, it makes everything a lot easier. Being a rookie, uh, you're only be kind of beginning to learn about what it's like to play on back-to-back -back nights and get into the hotel at 3.18 a.m. Uh, what, what did you learn about yourself and about the team today by today's performance? Uh, it all just comes down to energy and, you know, just to trust each other on the defensive end, on the offensive end, be able to trust in, uh, the first pass, the next pass. It's got to be able to know that whoever's lacking behind, the next person is going to step up no matter what, you know, no matter if that's uh, a couple missed defensive assignments, no matter if that's couple missed shots, teammates are going to pick each other up and make sure we going, we're going to get through the game and get out on top. Uh, you, you could play it a couple of different ways. You know, you could put me in the ball screen and have them switch or you could have them uh, blitz and then I'm just going to play out of the short roll. Or if you have the, uh, you have a wing guarding me, I'm going to pull the wing. Uh, I'll go corner, I'll go short corner, and have whoever the big is guarding uh, set the screen. And then if they, whatever action they play out of that, it's either going to be a pocket pass or the short roll, or they're going to play out of it and pass, pass. And I'm either going to play on the offensive rebound, play on the rebounding, uh, play on the rebounding side, or just wait for my teammates to find me in the right spots. Uh, it really just comes out of just showing the energy, you know, it's making a statement, you know, being able to know that everybody's looking at us, no matter if that's uh, good games, bad games, we got to be able to bounce back to make a statement for ourselves. You know, we're trying to, we're trying to really show what we can do. And I think we're doing a good job. We, we move the ball, we find the open man, you know, no matter if that's getting into the paint, no matter if that's kickouts, no matter if that's trail threes, everybody's getting the ball and everybody's going to find their way to get, put the ball in the basket. Uh, it just feels great, you know, being able to just trust, you know, as I said before, to trust the pass, no matter if that's me playing out of the short roll, finding uh, kickouts to the corner, for kickouts to the wing, no matter if that's me getting on the offensive boards, or getting on the defensive boards, blocking shots, or just running the floor to create shots for others. You know, I know that my job is very significant, so I got to be able to just play with 100% effort, and more than that, every time I step on the floor. I asked earlier about how you're adjusting to NBA life you know, maybe the closest you came to is maybe playing in the ACC tournament mm -hmm. consecutive days. What is it, how, what's it been to go through and, and what's the adjustment been for you? Uh, it's definitely a physical and mental battle. You know, you got to be able to make sure that you're, you're getting your body right, your mind right. You got to be able to focus on what happened last game. You got to be able to make the correction from last game and get to the next game. But at the same time, you can't be lagging behind thinking about what happened in the previous game because it's a next play mentality. You know, you got to be able to know that you got to take care of yourself as a pro. You know, you got to be able to know assignments. You got to be able to know your own plays. You got to be able to know uh, different schemes. No matter what they throw at you, you got to be able to try to be one step ahead.
Uh, definitely through my foul trouble games, I got to be able to know that when I'm playing, I got to be able to be straight up. Got to be able to know when I'm in the restricted, when I'm out of the restricted. Got to be able to move my feet. Can be able to use my hands when I'm guarding. I got to move my feet and just try to be able to stay between the ball handler and the basket. You know, there's a lot of things that are going to come down to the game, and it's just going to got to it's just me learning on the fly and try to be able to just pick up things as I go. Uh, definitely, you know, you got to be able to just, like I said before, trust the next pass. You know, Luca's going to, everybody's focused on Luca, but then that doesn't mean that all the other four other players in the court can't get to it. Got to be able to know that if my man's stepping up, you could throw a lob, you could throw, you could wrap around, dump off. There's a bunch of ways to get me involved. And if he chooses to just sit back on me, that means my teammates are going to get an open shot. So you got to be able to, you know, just kind of pick your poison and kind of just try to pick them apart. The way Tim describe it as you guys were kind of pissed off from last night. Uh, would you agree with that characterization? Did that factor into how you guys played? Yeah, that's the great thing about the NBA. You get to bounce back quick. You know, you don't got that much time to wallow on it. We're obviously uh, unhappy with the way we played as a unit um, yesterday, but got to turn the page fast, really get in late, sleep all day. And like I said, you go back out there and get another shot at it. You've gotten a couple of opportunities the last couple of games. Uh, how have you kept yourself prepared and the ability to come in and make a make an impact so quickly? Uh, just working with the staff, um, just trying to get my extra work in pre-game, post-game, um, off days, trying to let I me mean, do whatever I can to just most importantly stay in shape, keep my legs right. Uh, nothing simulates a game, but like I said, just keep um, – Wait my time, being being positive with the guys on the bench. I'm in practice trying to share my knowledge with the younger guys whichever way I can. And I mean, you know, it's, I mean, just being around long enough, you know, it's going to be a long season. Everybody's going to get an opportunity to, to, to affect the team. And um, tonight was a good chance for me to get my feet wet. Um, I mean, play a little bit more minutes. And uh, I mean, like I said, Kai's out, so other guys got to step up. And, and it's, it's always tough to win on the, on the road, no matter who you're playing, especially on the back to back. <laughs> yeah, I got a couple of my old coaches from the Nets over there on that staff. I was trying to tell them that's a bad challenge, so uh, they didn't listen to me. Um, it's just a, a different way. You got to do different stuff when you're a little bit older, just trying to stay ready. Um, when you're younger, you're always, always loose. Um, always ready to go, but got to do a little bit more. Um, like I said, to stay ready and men mentally, I might know how I can affect the game. It's not, I mean, not always scoring. It's just making the right plays, um, trying to make it easier on my teammates, being in the right spots on the defensive end. I think I've been doing that uh, pretty well. So I know eventually, I mean, more more touches, more minutes, shots are gonna fall for me. It's just a, just a matter of, like I said, always being positive with the team and um, doing what I can to affect the affect winning. You guys basically, I mean, you you play the opponents that are in front of you, so you haven't you have no effect on the schedule. But yeah. only one team that you guys have beaten is over 500. But you've been in the league long enough to know a good team from an yeah. okay team. Do you feel like this is a good team? Yeah, we do. I mean, I mean we're obviously going to see some some more challenges, but we're playing well. It's not just the way, not just winning. It's the way you win, the way you're playing. The attitudes in the locker room, even when you're winning, everything's not doesn't feel good, but everything is is, is great as a team right now. We're getting better um, as the weeks go along, and um, like I said, you you got to go out there and, and play the schedule in the, the league right now. Anybody can beat you on any night. So much talent out there. Every team is is capable on any night, um, but we're going in with a professional mentality every night, trying to do what we can on the defensive end. And obviously, we're a good offensive team, and Luca and Kyrie are making the play. So. Um, we're being like we're being professional about our approach, not taking any team lightly, and that's really important early in the season. So, what are your thoughts on the impact that Tim Hardaway is providing off the bench? He's doing his job. He's doing his job every night. He's, he's coming in, being aggressive, um, and like he's knocking down shots, tough ones, open ones, um, and I mean that's how you want him to be. Come in and affect the game in a positive way. 
as far as being aggressive offensively. And it's on the coaches to rain them back, honestly. It's his, his job to go out there and be as aggressive as he can. Execute. They did a great job, and it started from the start. Uh, that group was really good. I thought just to throw heads in the pace of uh, the way we've been talking about playing, um, you saw that you know, this evening. Um, what about the performance of D Live? Not like, you know, he had plus, I think, 16, 17 or something like that. But he also had, you know, almost a double double tonight. Yeah, you look at uh, just his presence uh, on the defense, but I thought he did a great job rim running, and Luca rewarded him with that, uh, being able to you know to know when to finish uh, and then know when to uh, pivot. And I thought he, he made a heck of a play to Timmy when he rim ran there there in the first and, and caught it first of all catching it, and then being uh, aware of where Timmy was in the corner for a three, um, just shows uh, his growth. Um, but I thought his energy. Uh, again, bounce back from last night was uh, a high for uh, a rookie. Yeah, I don't know if he was in foul trouble last night, um, but he uh, yes, to to be out of you know foul trouble to to play the game um, and and to be able to you know it's not easy. Sometimes we look at them as robots that they just automatically wake up and can go ninety four feet you know from baseline to baseline. But I thought. He did a great job on both ends, offensively and defensively tonight. Playing without Irving, you're kind of waiting to see who's going to control that scoring mode. And uh, you had two guys right away, and that was uh, Jones and Hardaway. Uh, now, Hard, what can you say about Hardaway this evening? He's been great. Yeah, he's had he's been great um, as we talked about six man, uh, you know, just understanding what he means to us. Uh, you know, we all know he can start, um, but what he does coming off the bench for us on both ends, offensively and defensively, uh, he's done it here for us uh, early in the season. We're going to need him to continue to do that. Um, but I think he's very comfortable in what he's uh, what we've asked him to do, and he's doing it at a very high level. Um, and then with Kai out, I thought, you know, next man mentality. And uh, you, you saw that tonight. Um, a, a lot of stuff was done before Curry got into the game. But I thought, again, Seth was great tonight for us. Uh, just kept us stable. And then playing with Axum, again, Axum's numbers and scoring is not going to be high. But he just keeps us, uh, you know, organized and controlled on both ends. Hey, Coach, this was your first chance to see Bilal Koulibaly up close. What did you see from him tonight and what? Do you foresee for his future? Uh, he's a rookie. Uh, <laughs> I think he's 19 years old, uh, and so uh, I thought he, he plays hard. Um, he understands how to play, and he can shoot the three. Um, and so his his future is very bright. And with Kyrie being out, does that change the strategy at all in terms of dishing the, the ball around? You guys had 32 assists tonight, so not too bad. No, I think it's just a part of our makeup. We try to keep you know no stress on offense. Um, uh, and understanding that it's about, you know, being, um, you know, making the play or being unselfish. I thought Grant did a great job of screening tonight, giving himself up. He got Timmy wide open looks. It's just the small things. Uh, and that group in that locker room talked about that after the game. We did the small things, and that's what helped us win. I wish I was a fair comparison. I, I was old, um, and but just the uh, makeup of Kai and what he can do. Um, he everybody looks at him as a scorer or one of the best to ever be able to finish uh, in, in the paint. And so, but his uh, other uh, you know strength is that he understands how to play the game the right way, and so he can pass and uh, find open guys and make make it where it's no stress uh, of trying to make the right play. And so. Uh, the, the comparison of me with the Knicks and him here um, is probably by nine years. Um, but when you talk about the IQ, he, he knows how to play the game the right way, and he likes the flow. He, he, you know, he wants the ball to move. He wants continuity. And, um, and so it just makes it a lot of fun to play with because everyone's live. And I, and I think that's what they enjoy when they're out there with Kai. They enjoy playing that way. Uh, what? 
Yeah, it, it's not a problem. Um, I think it's just that that's the way it, the team is built. Um, and a lot of you guys will say it's a problem or um, try to make it a problem, but it's a team. It's always been a team. And uh, everyone can't play 15 to 20 minutes a night. It's just this, the league isn't built this way. It's not CYO. Um, everyone's going to get an opportunity to play, unfortunately, with injuries or looking at doing something different. Um, takes place in the 82 game season, but our depth is us is our strength. And as much as you guys will write about that someone didn't get to play, that's just that's, it's a shame. Uh, if I could take you back to when you were young and not old, I just rem I was wondering <laughs> with there's so much attention on Wembenyama this year, and I just wonder in your rookie year, what were the hidden time sucks that you had to get used to as a professional? Oh, four and five. They don't even know what that is. And a lot of times we didn't know where we were. Uh, and it was a it was a man's game. You know, uh, you came to the paint, you got hit. Um, they didn't care if you were 19 or 20 years old. You, you had to you had to respond. You couldn't be soft. Um, you had to earn your stripes. And so um, and the keys weren't given to you. You had to earn them. And so, uh, you know, the, 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 the big things that he's going through, I mean, with social media, um, every shot, um, you know, every step he takes, you know, it's highlighted. Uh, he is a special uh, human being um, and, and there are unicorns in the world and he's one of them um, because he's going to be one of the best to probably ever do it. And you can see that um, early on. Um, and he is in the right place. Pop and those guys will bring him along and, and protect him. In the past few games, uh, the defenses have put Wing on the big in ball screening actions. And today, the Wizards kind of went away from that in the second half. What are your thoughts on how the offense has kind of handled that style and the selfish? Yeah, I think uh, we're going to see uh, everything uh, from boxing one uh, to trying to just get us to think about the different matchups and try to slow the offense down. I thought for last night, for us to see it again tonight, I thought the guys handled it well. We talked about it, um, that we, again, we're going to see different defenses that are going to try to, you know, slow us down to make us think about who should we bring instead of just the continuity of flow and the ball is going to find the open guy. And I thought the guys did a great job tonight with that.